Good morning, it's good to have you join us on Nigeria now showing on your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television. My name is Merciful Ajinomo. Yeah, there are big stories that are making the rounds on the newspapers this morning and we'll be analysing some stories. Uh, of course, we have uh, updates from APC presidential screening and of course, other stories that borders on economy. Analyzing these stories is Adebayo Fajime. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we'll begin with Daily Trust newspaper, of course. Uh, just yesterday, uh, we had APC presidential screening and this paper says, Oyegun led committee grills Tinubu Umahi, Amechi, Badaru, others. Uh, uh, what do you make of this, uh, will I say, impromptu occasion? Uh, it is not an impromptu. It is what the party has been preparing for before now. Uh, the only concern we have is um, the needless postponement of the process over and over and over. Hmm. And uh, so um, the party is, prepared, is preparing for the general election and uh, they have seen people, uh, credible and eligible candidates, uh, I mean aspirants rather, among the party who are vying for the highest office in the, in the, in the nation. And of course, it is very normal for them to want to screen them, test their ability, hear them out, uh, what they had in stock and uh, their capacity. So it is not bad. So it's a very good one for the party. So it is a process in which or whereby they would uh, know or have an idea, one-on-one uh, -on -one rather, you know, with the committee to know what um, the stuff each aspirant is made of. So it's a very nice one for the party. Then why would, uh, according to newspapers, and of course we had TOS uh, 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 um, news people right there, uh, where they were not allowed into the place. You know, like this writer says, uh, uh, um, journalists barred from attending. Why is it a closed door screening if it's about transparency and checking what each candidate has? Uh, it is the prerogative of the party to uh, to determine whether they will allow journalists to cover the event or not. And of course, this is not a party primary or a, a flamboyant event that, you know, so uh, it is the prerogative of the, of the party. But at the same time, you know, the media still have uh, one or two information from the outcome of the screen, especially uh, that of uh, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinobu mm. and a host of others. So I don't think it's a very bad thing. All right. Uh, I, now, uh, on Blueprint, it says Oyegun Committee seeks consensus commitment from presidential aspirant. Uh, of course, um, Bakari and Uju says we're ready to step down for right candidate. Uh, I remember your stance on consensus. Please um, clarify us this time. I, I keep saying it even before the, the electoral hacks was uh, um, assented to. I never supported consensus. It is, um, it is, it is, it will only damage our democratic process. When you say you are in a democracy, democracy is the government of the people, solely on the people, not uh, a few people or the minority determines who becomes the representative or the leader of the party. So and if the moment you are denying people of that right, of that opportunity, of course you are the, uh, doubling into something else. So, and if you have uh, studied our political history so far, you will discover that this issue is one of the things that is uh, destabilizing the party. Because mm. if you say, okay, uh, five people are contesting for a particular post and each aspirant has the same right in the party and because someone has the money, he has everything, let's assume, okay, they are just assuming that a, a, a candidate is superior, everybody knows he has the capacity above other people. What is uh, expected of the party is to avail level playing field. So go to the field. Test your popularity, everything you think you can, uh, you, you, you can deploy to win the election legally. So deploy it. If you win in the primary, of course, everybody will know that this is a level playing field and everybody goes to the pool and they test their popularity. So whoever wins, we know. Even if the person wants to do anything against the party, people will tell him or her that no, there was a level playing field. So the person will not have any justification to do anything bad against the party. So, but if you have a situation whereby people are coming together and uh, some people, because they have the power, maybe they are very close to the president, who determines, uh, uh, who becomes the flag bearer of the party, it will affect the loyalty of other people against the party. And don't forget, in general election, even one vote like this can. So you cannot say because 
and some people are not that popular as other candidates they don't count in the party of course they can't and that is why i keep saying that consensus we only damage our democratic process so it's not something we should capitalize or capitalize on or something we should be making use of in our democracy and remember we did see uh we like to say so a partly consensus process and in, in the pdp presidential uh, uh, um, 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 uh, uh, um, primaries uh, some people step down for some because they have seen just what you're saying they they've got everything it takes to represent the party so if if you're saying consensus will not work but pdp still apply the part of it uh, but uh, the it was deliberate if i deliberately say i'm stepping down for you you are not you did not force me or you are not coercing me to against my home oh it's a choice yes the case of tambua was deliberate so it was not coerced so nobody article was not mandated on him but when he saw how the the, the, the game was playing in the dying minutes and he gave up in the context and said i'm stepping down we also have the case of uh, hayatu though there were reports that uh, northern elements played upon him to step down for article and and things like that but this thing was deliberate so it, so it was not as if some people imposed the candidature of Atiku Abubakar on, on this. So if it is like that, it is normal. There is nothing bad in that. All right. Uh, of course, that's some blueprint. We have other news uh, just there. Uh, besides the picture of today, Ohane Zerikan says, we never threaten to work against Atiku PDP. That is uh, on page six of the blueprint newspaper. Uh, on the Vanguard, the big story is PDP ticket fellow Southern governors betrayed us, says Wiki. That story is on page five of the Vanguard newspaper. Uh, on, on the point, of course, we're still talking about APC presidential primary screening, uh, APC questions to Nubu Umahi, others on foreign citizenship consensus. Uh, on the leadership newspaper from the very top, IMF projects 22% inflation rate for Nigeria in 2022. This story, it's not something that sits well with most of the Nigerian people. Yeah, um, I'm afraid as well because um, if as an organization, um, you are making profit <clears throat> you are making profit and at the end of the day all the profits you are making is being spent on your loan then the question is how do you have financial capacity to sustain um, the life of the company and that is what might happen to nigeria according to imf, IMF. if uh, according to them they say our th th there is possibility for higher inflation and this will happen when what we are uh, spe I mean, what we are spending is higher than what we are earning. So, and uh, you can see, obviously, with our leaders, the way they are spending their courage and everything, that they are not really serious about mm -hmm. this thing. And uh, don't also forget that uh, and the manufacturing sector. I, I read a report that manufacturing sector are uh, doubling into a uh, such a means of production now because African Nigeria or let me say majority of Nigerians don't have the capacity to purchase goods and services now yeah. so they are deploring another strategy to ensure that uh, 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 people have um, people are able to buy product or services within their and, and, and it is it has never been like this do you mm. understand so but if things like this is happening of course, it is expected that government should rise to the responsibility and do the nation, but of course they are not doing it. So, because they, are, they will not be affected, because they have of the money, they are, the, the money they have embezzled, the money that doesn't belong to them. But they should, if truly they want to make our economy to work, because no economy will work that way. If you are borrowing, you are borrowing, we are, you are borrowing, and at the end of the day, what you are gaining or uh, um, gathering together as internal uh, revenue is being spent to service the debt or the loan you have borrowed of course of what use so that is why our government our leaders should come together and do the needful to ensure that they 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 they, 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 they do the needful to for, for the betterment of african nigerians all right and that's our national economy newspaper on nigerian news direct the big story is talking about presidential race of course apc screening and on the guardian uh jonathan absent as apc screens presidential aspirant that story is the big story on the guardian newspaper don't forget you can always stay updated on our website www.tostvnetwork.com 
for follow-up stories, news across Africa, in Nigeria, and of course, across the globe. Many thanks, Adibar, for joining us today. You're welcome. We'll come your way again tomorrow. Until then, stay safe. My name is Merciful Hajinomo.